Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server. And in the last episode, I showed off um, sort of the few things that I had done that I hadn't shown you guys before. And I mentioned that I was a bit stumped on what kind of gimmick to add in this space. And someone commented, make, uh, make the sort of mushrooms flow into like a bowl in here. So it's kind of like they're... they're flowing into a mushroom soup bowl and I kind of like that idea so I think I'm gonna try and uh, try and run with that um, I was messing around a little bit and I think this whole design has to kind of change because down here it's a little bit awkward there's not enough space to kind of really push the water so I'm gonna make it so that these buttons no longer exist to kind of individually activate the uh, the farm I'm gonna just have this one here and this one might have to move anyway so um, yeah I'm gonna get working on this and I'll show you when it's done just to start off the video Okay, so I think I've finished the mushroom farm and its little gimmick down here. Um, I did go back and find who left the comments. Thank you, Psyche from Poland. I think that's how it's said, maybe not, I don't know. Um, Psyche from Poland, thank you for suggesting the uh, the little soup bowl. Um, now, it, it, it is a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of an awkward um, positioning. Um, yeah, just the way the water streams worked, it, it's just a bit strange. Um, but I'll take it. It, it, was a, it was a lot of deliberation to get to this point. Um, but we've finally got it. We've got this little soup in here. Um, and then we've got a little... I, I, I'm pretending this is like a little spoon or like a ladle or something. Uh, but it's also our little secret flick. Uh, switch to flick? Yeah, switch to flick. Um, and yeah, it basically opens up these walls here, opens up this so that the uh, the water can flow through. And uh, at the same time, it also turns on um, both lines of the farm, which is cool. And then it all flows into the soup. All the mushrooms flow into the soup very slowly, actually. It's, it's not a very fast farm, I'm not going to lie. But we do actually get quite a lot of drops. I mean, this was nowhere near full. And we've got uh, got quite a lot of drops in here. And honestly, throughout the process of making this farm, I've actually gotten heaps of mushrooms. More than I'll ever use. I, I, I never use mushrooms anyway, so I already have more than I'll ever use. So, yeah, if we just grab those, yeah. Pretty decent amount. And then there's all the closing, uh, closing sequence there. So, this farming area is actually now all done, which is really great. And it works so well. It's, it's a fun little little project, I think. We've got the sugarcane farm, the cactus farm, the wheat farm, and the mushroom farm. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite in terms of the farm design itself, and then also the gimmicks as well. I really like all the all the different gimmicks we have going on here. I think my personal favorite, I like the sugarcane farm, the mechanism here. I do like this, but I also like the popcorn dispenser over here. I think it's pretty funny. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of that. And also, I think it's worth showing you in my storage room, I have a chest specific for mushrooms. These are all the mushrooms I've gotten uh, while I was making the farm. So we've got heaps of brown mushrooms, and then just a little bit of the uh, the red mushrooms. But we've got absolutely plenty to uh, to go off here, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Hey guys, check this out. The flowers don't touch the tilled dirt. Like, <laughs> they're just floating, you see that? See that? Look at them. They're all just floating. I didn't even notice that before. I guess it makes sense. The texture of the flower didn't need to be lower than, like, the grass block. But it's just funny that it's just... All of these flowers are just floating and I never noticed. That's pretty funny. But anyways, we're heading into the stadium now because I want to start thinking about the next mini game that we are going to be building in the stadium here. Um, for those of you who don't know... We've got a spleef arena in here, which is like three layers deep. We've got a bow PvP arena, which we still haven't actually um, had proper games with, uh, like, other people. Um, it's just been me and Doc doing some test games. Um, so we definitely need to do that at some point. It's kind of a, a cool map that we that we built. Um, and, yeah, now we're on to the third minigame. And I want to build the King of the Ladder minigame. But I want to have um, a couple of extra sort of details to go along with it. And it might kind of end up being uh, possibly too many games in one. We'll actually see about that. Um, but yeah, I just want to start with some 
uh, some general planning of what this is going to be like. And the first thing I have to do is actually work out the dimensions um, because, I mean, I don't know if you know, these aren't actually um, the same size. Uh, some of them I've like extended and, and shortened than that. So we're going to work out the dimensions a little bit and we're going to tower up, see what our, uh, our height limit is because obviously the King of the Ladder is a very vertical game. Um, we might have to dig down a bit to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. We'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with some planning. The first thing I'm gonna do is work out the uh, the dimensions of this little cube here. So I'm gonna um, actually grab some some of this uh, smooth stone and 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 work that out quickly. Okay. So the kind of idea I want for this is I want there to be let, let me just do like a little demonstration. I want there to be three on one side and then sort of three. Oops. Oh my god, I messed this up like the worst way you could possibly mess it up. Um, so I want there to be like three ladders on one side going up and three on the other side and these three can sort of fight each other um, as they go up and as you go up there's sort of platforms um, with different loot that they can pick up as well um, and then at a certain point they will like conjoin as well um, and sort of turn into, into two ladders uh, like this this is my little demonstration here, and then those will go up and then eventually turn into one ladder, um, and it'll be the same on both sides, so you kind of have this, uh, it's almost like a, like a bracket kind of thing. So these three are basically fighting each other, and then as it gets into the two, maybe they'll fight each other as well, so it'll sort of be four people, and then the last one, it'll just be, uh, you know, maybe two people or whatever um, fighting each other. So that's kind of the idea I want. Um, now in terms of the dimensions, I'm not 100% sure. I think there's going to be like bows and stuff involved, so, um, you know, we'll probably be able to have a bit of space um, to, to work this out. Um, and and I think the dimensions might be like every 10 blocks, maybe the first ladder will go up and then uh, and then we'll shorten that and shorten it again. So let me have a look at, at what the dimensions of this are right now. I think that's like, I think that's about 30 blocks, we'll see. So now the question is, do I really want these ladders to be this far apart? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. They could, it could be cooler to have them closer. Hmm. I guess, yeah, maybe it should be closer because this person can't reach that very far person over there and this person's getting, like, double, double teamed here. So, hmm, maybe this should be closer. Maybe that'll be better. It's a bit of a smaller mini game because it's a lot more vertical. Um, it's a lot more vertical height rather than, like, distance of game. So, maybe this could work. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is to quickly check what the, uh, the the height limit is here. Um, I, I know that it is one, was it 127 or whatever, um, but I'm just going to check it like where, where we are right now because I think it'll be good to actually see, um, you know, with our own eyes what the height looks like and whether that looks right um, for the game. So yeah, I'm going to just tower up here with this, with this gravel. All right. All right, that's the height limit there. And can we take a moment to appreciate the view from up here? Oh my God, this is so cool. Especially looking down that way, that's cool. And back across the stadium, like this is a really cool view. Nice, you even see the uh, the village and that there, nice. All right, uh, right, let's, wait, this is the height limit, right? What is it, 120, am I crazy? 128, which is measured from my head. So yeah, 127. Let me let some water down. Okay, and I actually think this has worked out pretty much perfectly. So, um, each one of these ladders here is 15 blocks, except for this last one, which is like 10-ish, I think. Um, which I think is actually going to be pretty good. So, let me show you how this is going to kind of go, or at least how I'm envisioning uh, this to kind of go. We're going to go, like, the game's going to start, you go up this ladder, um, you know, people are going up at the same time, you're trying to shoot them off and whatever, um, and not fall off on your own. You come up here, there might be a chest with some loot in it, um, and at this point, on this other side, you could also see the people, so if you want, you could take some pod shots at them. Um, but then this will also be, um, connected, like all three of these are going to be connected, and there's going to be two ladders sort of going up here, um, so you'll be able to fight everybody and, and, and whatever. Um, punch them off and that and then you'll get up here and the two ladders will connect to the to just the one here um, and yeah again you'll be even closer to these guys as well 
Um, and yeah, that'll hopefully, you know, wean everyone down. And there should also be some supply chests as well. Um, you'd probably want to fight the person and then collect the supply chests, I reckon. And then once you get up here, this is going to be like, you know, one big platform. Um, might make it out of glass because obviously like viewing... Uh, viewing wires from down there, you might not be able to see it, um, see all of it happening. So it's got to be glass, I think. Um, but yeah, you'll come up here and someone else will come up at the same time, hopefully, or around about, and you guys are fighting. Um, now the idea is there's going to be ladders on all sides, and this one is a bit shorter, and that's kind of, um, it's it's kind of what I intended, and it actually worked out perfectly based on the uh, the height limit here. Um, you come up, and the fact that it's shorter is good because I want the uh, the the winner of the game to be the person who stands up the top for ten seconds, um, or maybe it's maybe it should be five seconds. I'm not one hundred percent sure how long, but I think ten seconds is what I have in mind right now. You have to stand up here and defend the ladder for ten seconds. Um, now, obviously, it's going to um, depend a lot on how quickly people die, because obviously if this person gets up here and everyone's dead, they're going to easily be able to stay up here for 10 seconds. Um, and it's also going to be, you know, if this person gets up here and they're on half a heart and someone else comes up, they're going to punch them, kill them, and then get up here and they'll be up here for 10 seconds, you know. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I think that's kind of the general idea of what I have in mind for this uh, for this mini game, And I think... I think honestly, I'm just gonna try and start working with this this concept, this idea. And uh, if things stop working, I uh, I can always you know tear it down and sort of restart. Um, it's not a, not a overly complex game, thankfully. Um, the only question I have is whether this height uh, these heights are are good enough, which I think they should be. Um, and I just my last question is whether this is going to be a little bit of an eyesore in the. Uh, in the grand scheme of things of the of the build because obviously it's going to world height we do have the option to drop it down um, below the uh, you know below this surface here which could be could be cool um, visually as well so yeah a bit of designing there to kind of come up with I do think that does look cool though with uh, with how high that is um, how high that's going um, yeah might have to muck around with it a little bit and see and see where we end up Okay, so I've put the extra scaffolding in just to see what it'll look like when it's all kind of done. And I think this looks pretty good, honestly. I think this will this will be pretty cool. Maybe slightly short on top, but I guess that's that's unavoidable. I think once the glass is in on these platforms, um, it'll probably look a bit better. Um, it's going to be a little bit interesting because I, I don't want the, uh, the structure to look very frail. Um, I mean, King of the Ladder, it's going to look probably a bit frail and weird because, you know, you've just got tall pillars of... Um, you know, single single block pillars and, you know, you need to be able to have the player fall and die off the pillars and things. So, yeah, not not too sure what it's going to look like in the end, but this is kind of, this gives you a good idea of what the, uh, what the general structure and shape is going to look like, I think. And I think it looks pretty cool. I'll, uh, I'll have to get your opinions in the, uh, in the comments section. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the game and, uh, yeah, the, the idea. And let me know if you have any ideas of your, of your own um, that I could maybe implement into this. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to go ahead with, uh, with how my planning is, uh, is in my head and just kind of work with what I've got and, uh, and yeah, try it out the way, uh, the way I think it's going to go. Alright, but that is going to be all for today's video. Still getting back into the swing of things after, um, you know, a big a big break. So, yeah, bear with me. But next episode, hopefully, we uh, we actually get some really cool uh, progress done on this uh, on this new mini game. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters. Clutch. Mm. Did not clutch.